there. Um, welcome back to another video of our Be Encouraged Moments. Um, this is just such a blessing to us. We are encouraged because of the different comments and um, prayer requests that we're getting from you. Keep them coming. We oh, want yeah. to know more of what you think about these or topics that maybe you'd like us to talk about a bit. Today, I um, this video blog is going to be called don't forget who's in the boat. Ha. Huh. So, um, <laughs> have you ever said, man, it's just been one of those days? <laughs> I didn't even need you to finish that. And I knew. <laughs> then you take a deep sigh. <sighs> yeah. What do you do now? Um, oh, yeah, we all have those days. And when things don't go as planned, I mean, I plan out my day, that's no surprise there, I'm sure. But, and then there's a monkey wrench thrown in and I get frazzled. I mean, even this morning I was running late and I came in and I'm like, so sorry, so sorry, I'm late. And we're like, it's okay. But it kind of um, messed up with my plans and my day. And it's hard when circumstances are tough, when you're dealing with some really tough issues, um, then, you know, we have to try to get it together, especially if we have little ones looking at us, <laughs> watching us, because yeah. they, when they grow up, they do mimic what uh, their mamas and daddies say. So um, we have to be careful with that. But when I look at my circumstances, um, is my faith overwhelming? Um, is it great? Is it powerful? Is it strong? Or because of things that happen, um, does doubt come in? And then I start fearing. Well, mm -hmm. doubt and fear we know aren't from the Lord. And that faith has kind of been compromised when we allow these things to take over and our emotions take over in that way. I want to read a scripture, Matthew 8, 23 through 27. Now this is from the Passion Translation, which I love. It says, they all got into a boat, they meaning the apostles, and began to cross over to the other side of the lake. And Jesus, exhausted, fell asleep. Suddenly, a violent storm developed with waves so high, um, the boat was about to be swamped. Yet Jesus continued to sleep soundly. There was a storm there, and he was sleeping. The disciples woke him up saying, save us, Lord, we're going to die. But Jesus reprimanded them. Why are you so gripped with fear? Where is your faith? Then he stood and rebuked the storm saying, be still. And instantly it became perfectly calm. The disciples were astonished by this miracle and said to one another, who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him? <laughs> Ah, okay, so now we take that and apply it to our lives. When our storms and we just feel like things are crashing, the waves are crashing in on us and we're drowning. We're going down. And um, I guess for me, the lesson that I'm trying to learn is when my circumstances seems like that uphill climb and I, the boat is filling up, I'm letting my emotions and fear and doubt overtake yeah. what I really know is true is that the Lord is there um, and then I ask myself how did I get here or what do I do now <laughs> <laughs> and we have to go back to that scripture and remember that um, Jesus is right with us yeah. He is in the boat with us, and he's the one that can calm the storm, calm the seas, and make them perfectly um, crystal clear again and calm. And that's something we need to remember all the time. Are you feeling like you're at the end of your rope? Well, I would say cry out to Jesus and remember who is in the boat. Focus on the Lord not on your circumstance at hand. Yeah. That's the hard part. I know it's easier said than done, but we have to practice it over and over again. Spend time with God. And as you spend time with him, you get to know his heart more. 
and you get to know who he is and his words, as in Matthew 8, where he says, you know, why are you so gripped with fear? Where's your faith? And then he rebukes the storm and he calms down your life. That's our hope. That's our promise. That's where our joy and strength comes in. I just want to encourage you. So be encouraged. When everything around you seems to be crumbling, remember who's in the boat. Thank you, as always, for joining us for our Be Encouraged Moments.